All right, if you just want to see the test portion of this video, there's going to be a time code here for uh, like the video end of it, and then a time code in here for when the photos will be in here. And at the end of the video, I'll have a um, comparison between Sony and um, the Canon IV Rec. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you. So my friend bought me this the other day and it really had my mate, like my, just my mind boggled on what this was supposed to be. So this is the new Ivy Rec from Canon. So I'm assuming this is like, I guess this is just their way of trying to branch out and see what people are going for nowadays. And I'm very intrigued because uh, I've carried this for the past week now just to see how it would like fare in my daily life and it's interesting because it's fun it's a it's a conversation piece uh, and I don't know it's just something people usually don't see and it's just I don't know it's really slim because I used to carry a GoPro all the time. That wasn't fun to carry. So if you didn't have a bag on you or anything like that, it's they're just oddly shaped and it just didn't fit in your pocket well. This fits in your po pocket perfectly. So this kind of fits a middle ground between a point and shoot and your phone. And that's what I was gonna try to figure out because I was like, why don't you just use your phone? This has a little bit better of a camera but you can't tell if it's focused or shots framed up correctly. So this had me really stumped this past week on what this was supposed to be. It's framed up for pictures and everything like exactly for Instagram. So if you take a picture, it's already set up for Instagram's platform. It has me at a loss of words because it's just, I don't know what this, what this fits and if it's useful yet in my, my own personal my own personal life. I know I've got some actually pretty interesting pictures with it. Um, cause I've noticed if you hit the shutter button, the shutter button's a little stiff and your fingers want to shake. So you got to like really grasp a hold of this thing to take a picture because if you hold it like this and you'll like shake just a little bit and the shutter is not good when it comes to just the speed shutter speed is just you get all kinds of motion blur and same way this way it's it's everything you're just slightly moving side to side it's rough but as soon as you have it on a uh, tripod or if you, you just set it on the table or something take a picture it comes out great I mean the images are actually surprisingly good um, the app is relatively easy to uh, go through it. They say it's supposed to have 1080 60, but I haven't seen that yet And there must be a firmware update or something coming out for that But it only shoots 720 uh, 30 right now for me um, It looks like an old iPhone Like video it just looks like old iPhone video. It doesn't look anything special It's very oversaturated lots of motion blur, but if I had 1080 60 like if it had 1080 60 I think it would be better I don't know if it's just the sensor size or what but you got to also think it's also an $80 camera and this is something that I think parents are gonna be picking up for their kids or if like they don't they don't want to get them a phone yet but they want to post stuff or if they want to take pictures or this is a good entry-level point-and-shoot I think because controls are easy to use it takes a micro SD and makes fun noises and it has a shockproof test of like six feet or something like that so it's shockproof waterproof up to like a thing has an ipa rating of uh a meter i think it's like 3.3 yeah yeah 3.3 feet or something like that for 30 minutes i guess and yeah it's just an interesting conversation piece because I had people look at this and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, 
and they see cannon on it and they're just like wow do you have a can it's a little cannon point and shoot that's awesome like that looks so cool so it's a cool conversation piece and i'm 21 years old and yeah i don't know it's it's interesting um you can get unique angles with it like you can put it back behind something where your phone really wouldn't fit because if everybody has these massive phones now so you got an iphone 7 plus here and the one thing with the iphone 7s too and everything the iphones they don't stand up on end so you can't really set it up just on the spot somewhere you gotta like lean it up against something this you can just plop it down you're good to go so i found how i use it you can get really unique angles that you wouldn't usually get with your phone. So I know that beats it with the phone, but quality-wise, I think the phone takes better quality. This only has a 12 megapixel sensor in it, but this has a um, 13 megapixel sensor. And I have found that the images are good on it, like the just the individual pictures, once you actually get a solid picture, I had to lay it down and take the picture. I found that it was good then, um, but you really can't tell what it's focused on either. So I don't, the minimum focusing length, like from here to the computer screen, that would be probably in focus. Like if I get any closer, I wouldn't bet on any focusing, but um, it, it's, it again, it's just what niche is it filling? Um, one cool thing too is that you can open up the app and you can actually go through um, video and you should be able to hit the uh, gear icon and go through there, but my gear icon doesn't work. Um, the um, photo setting and you can have a timer too. So if you have this on a tripod or if you wanna set it up on, the, on end like that, what you can't do with an iPhone. So that's one win. Um, and you can actually frame up your shot when you're standing for forever away and not squinting and looking. I think they are everybody's in. You can just look at your phone, click 10 seconds or whatever, and take the picture. And, oh, okay, yeah, we got the picture. So I, I see that's good there. So for, like, families and stuff, I think this would be kind of cool. Really rugged. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a – it is still boggling my mind. So I'm going to be taking some pictures, and I'm going to be comparing the – like – comparing between an actual camera which is a sony a7 III with a 24 to 105 f4 lens and then i'm going to be taking some pictures with the ivy rec and i'm just going to compare them all and this is just going to see like who is what who this is for and that's what i'm trying to figure out i'm like trying to just figure out who this is for I, from what i'm seeing in their commercials is they're more pointing towards like teenagers and um just the younger generation of Instagrammers and stuff, uh, which I could see that. Um, but I could also see this as like a family thing, um, just like parents with their kids. And if their kids want to just take some pictures here and there, um, I see that. But um, yeah, so I'm going to take some pictures here and probably take some test footage as well. And um, here, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a video here. I have a 64 gig um sandisk sd card in here uh yeah let me see here i think I'm... there we go all right this is a test of the ivy rec in my studio here and well my office and this is my studio lighting i got my key light and just a check here i got my sony e7 III there with the rode video mic just so you know what I'm using for audio. Um, I just have it plugged straight into the camera. No external audio recorded. But this is right now the uh, Ivy Rex uh, audio. Um, like like I said, it's probably going to be a little oversaturated, a little bit blurry, probably some motion blur here. Um, yeah, so we'll see. And I'm going to probably do one with my phone here as well, just so you can get a little... Uh, test and see what that looks like. So let me try that.
right, so this is my phone. Um, this is the front facing camera. There's the camera there. And yeah, so this is what this looks like. A little, see if you can see the motion blur. This is the audio from the phone as well. Okay, I think that's a good test. And then, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go take some pictures and video, and I'm gonna see what we come up with. So I see you in a little bit here. Just a video. Hello. Hello. So everything seems like it's turned out so good so far. And yeah. See what we do. And again. Collecting snowballs. It is like 20 degrees out here. Well, 23. <laughs> <laughs> like that helps. Well, I'll see you inside then. Alrighty, so I was actually sick for a little bit, and I wasn't able to finish this video when I wanted to. I wanted to finish it, like, literally right before Christmas. It's 2020 now, and it's actually the... I don't know, what, what's, what's today, babe? Um, Today's the 16th of the... Uh, yeah, 1-16-2020. It's crazy we're in 2020, but... Um, I'm finally feeling better from my sickness. It was literally from the 25th, I got sick of December and then the 16th, I'm better. So it was a long time, uh, but finally able to finish this video and I'll have a little comparison here at the end of the, um, Sony's foot, uh, pictures that I got, and then I got the Ivy Rex pictures. So I'll post those on here, and well, have those at the end. And <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Um, I lost my train of thought. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I think this is probably gonna be the end. Uh, I appreciate whoever sat through this whole entire video. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about the camera uh, that I didn't hit on uh, during the video, uh, let me know and uh, try to give you my best of my knowledge to the camera. And thank you so much for watching and please hit the uh, like button, subscribe, and please hit the notification bell because I'm going to be posting as much as I can here uh, and hopefully be putting out my goal is 180 videos this year. Peter McKinnon averaged about 186 videos a year. So I'm going to try to do 180 or like within 100 I want to try to post this year. So um, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. And hopefully I can answer any questions that you guys might have. See you in the next one.